Okay, welcome to the video on ions. So this video is all about uh, how to define an ion and how ions are formed. Okay, so let's get uh, let's get right to it. So the first thing first thing you need to know is there's two kinds of ions. All right, there are positive ions and there are negative ions. Okay, and each one of these has a has a name, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but uh, most of the time when we talk about atoms, we are talking about uh, atoms that are neutral. Okay. There we go. Okay, neutral. And when when somebody says, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's a neutral atom. There's no charge on that atom. What that means is that the number of protons in that atom is equal to the number of electrons in that atom. Okay, so that's all that means. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, so here's a sodium atom. Uh, it's neutral. And um, let's figure out, let's first take account of the protons and the electrons. All right. So now, if, hopefully you have your periodic table uh, sitting in front of you. If you don't, make sure you get that out because I want you to, you know, be, I want you to be able to refer to the table while we're going through some of this. So once you have your table out, if you can find sodium on the periodic table, you can see that the uh, atomic number is 11. And that means, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, um, allergies are kicking in. Uh, what that means is that there are 11 protons, right? So you got 11 protons, and each proton carries one unit of positive charge, okay? So if you've got 11 of those guys, you're going to have a total of 11 plus, okay, plus 11 charge. Now, out in the electron cloud, um, if, if it is a neutral atom, you're going to have 11 electrons. Now, each electron carries a unit of negative charge. And if you've got 11 of those, that's minus 11 total negative charge. Now, when you add up the total positive charge contributed by the protons, to the total 11 minus 11, which is contributed by the electrons, you can see that the net charge is zero, right? And so that's what you have to have uh, in a neutral atom, okay? So I just want to establish, first and foremost, that neutral atoms have equal numbers of protons and electrons, all right? And I'm just kind of doing the bookkeeping here for, for sodium to get us started. Okay, so that's all, that's all great. Now, sodium is a metal, and metals as a group, they tend to lose electrons, okay? They're very absent-minded, and they just, um, you know, they're dropping them left and right. So sodium's no exception. Sodium tends to lose one electron, and so when it does that, uh, the total electron count is going to go down, obviously, right? So it goes from 10, I'm sorry, from 11 to 10. So then if we do this bookkeeping again, um, we still have a total of positive 11, right? Because we didn't lose any protons, but now we're down one electron. So our total negative charge count is minus 10, and when we calculate the net charge, that's positive 1. And so what we would do then, when we indicate that we have a sodium ion with a positive 1 charge, we, we write the element symbol, and then we put the charge up here as a superscript, okay? Um, so that is how you create an ion, and specifically it's a positively charged ion. Now if you think for a second, um, if, if you have to lose electrons to form a positive ion, what do you think we're going to have to do in order to form a negative ion? Well, if you're thinking that we're going to have to add an electron, you're absolutely right. Okay, so now we're going to um, now we're going to talk about forming negative ions. Okay, so here is a chlorine atom. This is the example element that we're going to use. Um, chlorine is over on the right-hand part of the table. Uh, it's one of the halogens, and it's not a metal. And um, as a non-metal, it tends to want to gain electrons. Okay, so non-metals. Uh, tend to be, you know, they tend to be electron hogs. They, they want to, you know, 
get more electrons all the time. Okay, so when we start out, uh, the atomic number is 17, so that has a total positive charge of 17 coming from the nucleus. And then it has 17 electrons, so that's a total negative charge of minus 17, neutral, you know, the um, net charge is zero. However, when we add an electron, now we have 18, and I think you can see, you know, the math is pretty straightforward. We still have a total positive charge of 17, but our total negative charge went up to minus 18, and so we now have a minus one charge. Uh, that's our net charge. So, um, just like it's written here, when you uh, indicate a chloride ion, uh, a chlorine atom that's become a chloride ion, you just write the chemical symbol uh, and then put the charge over here on the right as a superscript. Okay, so that's how um, positive and negative ions are formed. Uh, one more time, if you want to form a uh, positively charged ion, you have to lose electrons. If you want to form a negatively charged ion, you have to gain electrons. Okay, so let's um, just to kind of summarize here. An ion is an atom or a group of atoms that has a positive or a negative charge. Okay, so that's, um, that's a long and short of it. Then, in order to distinguish between the positively charged ions and the negatively charged ions, we have special names for those, okay? So if it's a positive, positively charged ion, we refer to those as cations. And one way to remember that is if you look at the T here, the T kind of looks like a positive sign. Okay, so cation, think of the T, plus sign, positive charge. Uh, the anion is what we call ions with negative charge. And so you can kind of think of the word here as spelling a negative ion. Okay, so that's the, you can think of the N as standing for the word negative to kind of keep those two straight. Okay, so we've got our terminology down. We know how each type of ion is formed. Now, let's see. What I'd like you to do for this is I want you to have a little piece of uh, notebook paper, a little piece of scrap paper, and I want you to pause the video and see if you can answer this question, all right, based on what we just talked about. Okay, so what you uh, hopefully remember from earlier in the video is that in order for the for an atom to be electrically neutral, the number of protons has to be equal to the number of the electrons. And it's as simple as that, okay? Because if, if this statement is true, then the uh, positive and negative charges will cancel each other out, and the, uh, the net charge will be zero. Okay, so that's the key for a neutral atom. All right, let's try the next one. Um, how would you define the term ion? Okay, so pause the video and see if you can just jot down a quick answer. Okay, so hopefully you said something like uh, an ion is uh, a, an atom or group of atoms with either a positive or negative charge. Okay, something like that. Okay. All right, hopefully we're doing good. All right, next one. Um, what kind of ion is formed when an electron is uh, added to a neutral atom? Okay, so if an electron is added to a neutral atom, what kind of ion? Okay. So if you add an electron to a neutral atom, that's kind of like the, um, the chlorine case, right? So when we took a chlorine atom and we added, uh, added an electron, what we got was the chloride uh, negatively charged ion, okay? And what kind of ion, if, if it's negatively charged, what do we call that? Hopefully, hopefully you remember it's an anion, a uh, negatively charged ion. Okay, next one. So what kind of ion is formed when the electron is removed? Okay. Okay, so for this one, this is like, do you remember the uh, sodium atom? So what we did was we, we removed an electron 
and that became a positively charged ion, and we call positively charged ions cations. Okay. Okay, so here's a good one. Uh, so again, you know, please read the question carefully, pause the video, and see if you can answer this. Okay, so the, the problem says that we have an oxygen atom, and uh, the oxygen atom is going to acquire two extra electrons, all right? So we are adding electrons to a, uh, a neutral atom. Okay, so will the net charge on the oxygen be positive or negative? Well, if you're adding electrons, you are adding a negative charge. So you're going you're gonna to cause that atom to become negatively charged, all right? And which would be an anion. Okay, uh, what would the symbol for the ion be? Well, if we're talking about oxygen, then that would just be O for oxygen. And we've added not one, but two extra electrons. Okay, so that's going to cause, so, okay, let's, uh, let me do this systematically. Um, how many protons does an oxygen atom have? All right, hopefully you, you answered eight. And so that's a total of plus eight. Now, if you have a neutral atom of oxygen, you're going to have uh, minus 8 for the total negative charge. But if we add two extra electrons, then that's going to bring the total negative charge count up to minus 10. And so the net charge would be minus 2. And then, OK, so that's, that charge goes up here. And um, in chemistry, we always write the magnitude of the charge first, followed by the plus or the minus. Okay, so that's two minus, and that would be that's how you write the symbol for the uh, for the oxygen ion. All right, last question, last one. <clears throat> okay, hopefully you pause the video, thinking about it. All right, so now. We're talking about aluminum. Aluminum is definitely a metal. Uh, we know that metals tend to lose electrons. So um, uh, what happens when it loses three electrons? Well, first question, will the net charge on the aluminum be positive or negative? Well, if you're losing electrons, you're losing negative charge. And so if you're going to be uh, deficient in negative charge, that's going to ca cause the overall net charge to be positive. Okay, um, write the symbol for the ion. All right, well, we know the symbol is going to involve, you know, the element symbol AL. Um, if we lose three electrons, that's going to be, uh, it's going to become positive, and it's going to be three positive. All right, and again, if you want to, you know, do this systematically, um, aluminum has atomic number 13, so it's got 13 protons, that's positive 13. If you lose three electrons, the electron count is going to go from 13 down to 10. So we'll only have a negative charge of 10. And so that that's how you get the net charge to be 3. And so that net charge goes up here in the symbol for the ion. Um, is it a cation or an anion? That's right. It's a cation. It's positively charged. Okay. Thank you very much. See you at the next one.